Hi, and welcome back to Par Breakers Golf Academy. I'm Bernard Sheridan, and today we're going to take a look at a comparison in putting of two players. Uh, first is Matt Every, who won this year at Bay Hill, and the other is Adam Scott, who actually um, lost shots due to putting in the final round and through the rounds, um, but pretty much the final round, he did have some poor shots too, but, uh, and, and of course, Adam is a fantastic player, uh, Matt got his first tour win, so we congratulate Matt at that. We're going to see some of the things that Matt had di has done or did at Bay Hill that really, putting is really what kept Matt in this. And, um, and his consistency of putting is really what made that happen. Um, also, uh, able to read, you know, the greens and and do well uh, with understanding, break, and what has to happen. And But the main thing that we're going to look at here first is the consistency that happens with Matt's putting stroke. Okay, so I have a box around, and where that box goes down just to where Matt's hands are and where the top of his head is. And... Uh, and of course, the line that Matt is putting on. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller here, so we can get a, a sneak at the hole. Because as you notice here, Matt's not aiming at the hole. Uh, the, the putt definitely broke to the right for him, and uh, which was away from him. And so he's aimed left. And as he goes back, what I want you to notice is his putter head is very square to that target line. Okay. Um, it is opening ever so slightly, okay, but it appears like it's really square, okay, and as he makes that that back backswing position, okay, he's really staying steady, and as he comes through, his head was very, very steady, and his, here's another, here's a really big key, and that is that his chest, okay, and if you go right above your sternum bone and keep m going up towards your neck, you're going to feel a little hole there where your collarbone comes in to your breastbone, okay, and that little hole, okay, is really remaining very level through this stroke, okay, so that as he releases and that putter head looks right down the line, then the putt, of course, breaks to the hole. Speed had a lot to do with this, of course, but we can see how that putter head just, that face just looked right where he wanted to putt. Okay, so he was putting exactly where he was aiming. All right. Now, if we take a look at Adam, the few things that I want you to know, well, first thing we want to look at or notice is that is that, of course, he's using a long putter, okay? Um, and and the reason why Adam uses a long putter is because he has had difficulty in putting in the past, and um, so he feels that the long putter is helping him. So so as, as we take a look at when he moves back here, his head stays fairly steady, okay? As he comes in, though, right at impact, we start to see through a rise... Of his head and posture okay now what that caused him to do on this putt was to leave the putt out to the right it was almost as if when that little hole and uh, that's right there in your neck starts to rise as you make contact with the ball it's also going to want to move to the right of of the target okay so that means it, it's going to cause almost like a pushed putt, okay? So a lot of players that we see that do this end up losing the putt right. I'm not sure. Let's see where he ended up losing this. And he did miss the putt right, okay? So, so and this was a, was a, a 
really the downfall of his of his putting, not just in reading, and he he feels that it's reading, but but I want to say that when that happens. When that upward little motion happens, and it could be due to that he's using a long putter, so in order for him to get that putter through and have it rise after impact, his body has to rise too. So um, we, you know, I think that Adam might want to readdress um, how how that motion happens in his putting stroke to help him stay a little bit more solid after the putter releases. Okay, same as, as we saw Matt do here. Very solid as the putter releases and still maintaining that posture. Um, might not have been able to do that if he had that long putter. So, so that long putter just might be hindering Adam just a little bit more than he believes. Okay, but we'd like to congratulate Matt on his first win. It's wonderful that it was so close to his home, um, and uh, and again, to to putt your best, you really have to keep that that little hole there that's in between your your collarbone and your best bone, right at the base of your neck. That really has to stay level through the putt, and it can't come off. It can't turn to the left after impact, or or uh, or push you out to the right or rise or fall throughout the th throughout the putting stroke and Matt was able to achieve that and that's why he putted so well and got his first tour win of course all the other things went along with it solid ball striking that goes without saying but he didn't and because Adam is is an incredibly solid ball striker but it was his putting that failed him and that's why he lost so hopefully um he will do better uh, as he moves into defend the Masters, and uh, and hopefully Matt will give him a good run for his money because Matt's going to be visiting that tournament himself because he's a winner this year. So once again, congratulations, Matt Every, for your win, your first tour win at Bay Hill. I'm Bernard Sheridan, and we're looking forward to seeing you next time here at Parbreakers Golf Academy. Until then, keep it in the short grass.